Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R330 server. In this video, we're going to show you how to rack it. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R330 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, uh, this video is going to be uh, showing you how to put your server into the rack, specifically for the R330. Uh, so we got a new pair of rails right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cut them open, uh, take them out, and then we are going to show you uh, step by step how to put this into your rack okay so let's go ahead and take the rails out so here is a picture of a brand new set of rails uh, how they come in right so we'll just go ahead and take these out and we will get started all right we're going to start by putting the left rail in i like to do this with two people to make it a lot easier you can do it by yourself but uh, angel's going to help us in the back so angel let's do it on uh, number 14. All right, yours in. So we're just gonna line this up and just push it in and it is physically in. You can feel that it is uh, locked in firmly and the inner rails can come out and slide out. And we'll show you when we put the uh, right one on, there's a button over here that's important to be able to uh, move the inner rails in and out. Now, if I wanted to remove this rail, um, there's a blue button right here that we would just simply pull out and it would release it. And now we can take it back out. So we'll go ahead and reinstall it on 14. And now we'll do the right rail. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and do the right rail. Uh, so simply make sure that the uh, the part that says right is facing up. So we're going to do the same exact one. So we're going to do 14 again, Angel. You get it locked in. Come in here. Locked into place. Uh, now we're good to go. And this is the button I wanted to show you uh, when you're doing the inner rails right here. If I were to try to push this in, it gets locked into place. So you have to push this button and now the rails can slide back in and then lock into place. So now we're gonna go ahead and actually put uh, our server into the rails. All right, so now we are gonna go ahead and actually put the server in the rack. So we're gonna slide our inners out. So you will see that they'll click into place. And so if we try to push them back right now, they are fully locked in, okay? So what we're gonna do is if you look at the server here, um, on the side, there are these rivets, okay? There's four of them. So essentially there's carved out notches here. So we're gonna wanna go four back. We're gonna put the last one in and then we're gonna kinda hinge it down almost and lock it into place. So let's go ahead and do this together, Angel. So let's go to this one and put them in. Okay. Okay, all four years in? Yes. All right, so uh, right now it's physically in, but if we wanted to push it back, you'll see it won't go back. So this is where we have to push these two buttons on the side. There we go. Now it'll actually slide back and lock into place. And if I try to pull it back out, it's locked uh, as a hole in there and it's firmly into the rack. So that's how you rack your R330 server. Uh, if you're looking to get any custom built servers yourself, uh, Dell, HPE, Supermicro, uh, we'd love the opportunity. We build used and new. Please email us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys.